So what we need, as early as possible, would be one time for everybody. Helicopter, stills, talent, phone box, tow trucks, the lot. Oh, hang about a minute. Saturday. Ah, there it is. 5.20. Saturday, 5.20 a.m. Sunrise. Monday, 9.30 a.m. Communications House. A meeting about a multi-million dollar problem which advertising may be able to help combat. Vandalism of public telephones. Well, you have the figures of how many public telephones are damaged each year, and that's about a $2 million a year repair bill. While that cost is important, the real thing that we're concerned about is what happens in an emergency if somebody tries to use a telephone and it's been wrecked like one of these. Their very life could depend on being able to use a telephone. And what have you done in the way of direct appeals? Well, one of the things we did try was this adopt a public telephone. John, you went right through this exercise. Yes, I did, Brian, and uh, despite the wide distribution of this rather colourful material on a national basis, the results were rather disappointing. And, Brian, do you feel that we've got anywhere with the old scheme of the rewards? Did it produce anything? Well, it was a bit low in these days of inflation, and it's recently been increased to $100, and also it doesn't have to lead, the information doesn't have to be a conviction, it just has to lead to the identity of the person doing the vandalism. Yeah, perhaps you can note the, the new scheme of the reward, John, because yes. we'll talk about that a bit later. I think we've got to look to the future now, to hand things over to you, John, uh, from the agency viewpoint. Wednesday, 2 p.m. At the advertising agency, the advertising theme has been established. How is it done? John, how do you intend to communicate this lifeline theme to the public? Well, we will be using television as the main spearhead for our campaign because television not only reaches the people we want to get to with the message, but it is the most powerful media in terms of gaining uh, consumer involvement. Friday, 8.30 a.m. At PMG Workshops in Port Melbourne, a casting session takes place for the television commercial star, the public telephone. We uh, assemble all the cabinets here. We have our cabinets out in the yard that are vandalised. And this and is a brand new cabinet. That's a brand new cabinet ready to go out into the area. This is a typical vandalised telephone box brought in from the metropolitan area. But I hope in your commercial you're not going to make this a lesson on how to vandalise a cabinet. <laughs> no, Len, we won't be doing that in the commercial. But the vandalised cabinet is a very important part of the film. As a matter of fact, in the film itself, we won't be showing any vandalism acts to a public telephone at all. Len, is the condition of this public telephone booth typical of the things they do to them? Yes, this is a typical vandalised cabinet. You can see the glass in the front has been shattered. The glass on the side is absolutely gone. The instrument can get wet. The notice frame on the back has been vandalised, the light has been got at, the phone itself, the earpiece is there, the cord's gone. Uh, this all graffiti written all over the thing. The shelf has been burnt. Uh, it's really a general vandalised cabinet from the metro area. They're two perfect examples of a vandalised one and a brand new cabinet. The next time we'll see them, we'll be down on location, right? Saturday, 5.20, sunrise. The weeks of careful preparation reach their climax in the early hours of this otherwise sleeping morning. After today, much must be done to complete the film. But now everything is working towards the moment when the helicopter will fly high above the scene, photographing in colour the 60-second story built around the community lifeline theme provided by the public telephone. Now your passenger has been thrown out on the road. He's a good mate of yours, you know, your work, workmates probably. Yeah. And uh, so you're worried about him. So you throw the door open, run around to Bill, which will be about here. Can you sort of sit yourself on the road here for a minute, Bill? Okay, he'll be, he'll be laying down. And you're a bit worried that the guy's dead. Right? Yeah. So you walk over, right? And you stand back. And action! Okay, got it. Then we come out there a couple of times. Oh, hello, Fuchs. My world is deep. Stand about here. Alright? Okay, you're about here. 
Yeah. You don't need to walk straight from the car. No. It's like... Out of the car. And... Who's Hans Comes near me as well. Almost to your mark. Do Somewhere out there, there's a phone you're going to need, just once in a lifetime. Somewhere out there, there's a life that's going to need saving. And you'll need emergency help in a hurry. You get it this way, quickly, at no cost. Because the post office provides public phone boxes, over 30,000 of them. Not just for ordinary everyday calls, but more importantly, for emergency help when disaster strikes. Somewhere out here, there's a phone you're going to need just once in a lifetime. It'll be there to help you, if vandalism can be stopped. Report any out-of-order phone when you see it. Save our phones. They're the community lifeline you may need, anywhere, anytime.